T5 on defense does have an engineer. Bill Cup and Cake starting out on the offense does not have an engineer. We do see Pyro in action, of course. KK Pyro taking that role for T5. Bigger and sniping over there. We don't see snipers or pyros either on the Ville Cup and Cakes. Cup and Cakes going hard. Multi two demos, two soldiers, two scouts, two medics, and a heavy. Interesting to see the two scouts on offense. Haven't, I don't think we've seen that at all tonight. Though they Not do have a two long very good scouts on their team. Yeah, we're looking at the Carpe and Raygun, a.k.a. Rabical, uh, both playing scout over there. Also, Sherlock just switched over from soldier to spy, a role we are more familiar with him in. Big map like this, it is good to spread the team out. Uh, see if they can keep them away from the cart. Keeping the red team away from the cart as much as possible is the best thing for the blue team. Whether they're dead or running away far away, it doesn't matter. Agreed, because when the red team's at the cart, cart can't move. We are still waiting on a ready up here. I thought we Five, were ready. There, there we go. Three, two, one. All right. So yeah, cupcakes are attacking first. T five going to be defending. Let's go take a look at what the defenders are running. See a Kritzkrieg and an Uber on defense. Greybeard with the crits. Potato with the Uber. Crimson Shooting Star going Engineer, building Teleport first thing, and Maple Man killing himself to give those supplies over to the NG. I approve of that move, as you know. Looks like Crimson's building bottom of the hill. We are seeing dual Ubers on uh, Cup and Cakes out the gate. Haven't seen that from any team tonight. And I actually, uh, I like that decision, personally. When you're coming right out the gate into a defense, you're going to be running into some... Uh, serious action and just being invincible is very valuable. We do see Grizzoni and Maple Man have agreed to a duel, Mission not a class locked one, so they can do whatever they like, but. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice long range rocket fired before the gate even opens, it hits a person. You see an Uber coming in over the top. Is James Gold with the Uber. He gets the kill on Pink before the Uber is deployed by Potato. Potato turns around and puts an Uber on Snidely. Takes a demo action over to the cart. T5 has lost four against just one down. Yeah. Over on the Cup and Cakes. a nice little uh, scout duel there between uh, Raygun and Maple Man, which uh, Raygun managed to win. And Bigger takes down. James Gold, the heavy. See a crit soldier gets ray gun. Yeah. Important to know, uh, yeah, we're not running the two scout strategy there on Kevin Jake's Carpe Pants on the arrow. He's, uh, he's, I think, playing spy defense there on the cart. Keeping, keeping that, those guys free. Not a bad idea, given some of the spy action we've seen, and Sherlock playing spy for the Cup and Cakes. There's the first cap at a minute two. That is the fastest cap we've seen yet tonight. Now you see the uh, Cup and Cakes pushing up over the top, trying to push the fight away from the car and let their pushers push unimpeded. Just a pain train demo, looks like on a cart. Oh, two more hits a little help. Pain train demo, of course, having two capture points is two thirds of the max speed of the cart, so even just that one person really can keep it moving pretty well. Here you see a pain train soldier also pushing. Bob the Ninja Sparky. Man. Sparky did a great job. He got behind the combo there, but too late, not before the Uber was pushed, so now he's jumping out. Look how far forward Cup and Cakes were playing. They were all the way through the building and on the third, very nearly by the time they capture the second point. Yeah, look at that. The Cup and Cakes are doing what we saw 32x do in that uh, that second round. Playing all the way up. They are just alone. 
This is a four points on the cart on the cart with a scout and a uh, pain train soldier. Like. This is a brutally effective tactic we see here. T5 needs to slow down this onslaught. They need to group up and fight their way out of their building, or else they need to entrench for the long haul in here, which is going to be tough. There are not a lot of good defensive angles in this building. Cart making its gradual way all the way up to the point with Bob the Ninja Man and Ray Gun escorting. Just about to hit the fourth cap when the Uber comes out now for cup and cakes. There's a counter Uber by T5, but oh, Air Blast almost goes in the pit. Gets shoved back to the edge of the pit, however. They stay up. Yeah, the Cup and Cakes did a good job getting out, so the Uber didn't do much besides force them out of the base for a minute. There is a mini sentry up top. I know it's a level one. It's now a level, level two, two wrangled. wrangled. It goes down though. Too much firepower. And yeah, this is going to go over, it looks like. Four wow. in three, 29. I, I wouldn't have guessed that you could do it, but they. That's. I didn't yeah. think you could cap that fast. That is faster they, than I've ever seen that. <laughs> I think they had full the entire time. I'm not sure they were ever stopped for more than maybe five or ten seconds. They were definitely moving. They occasionally were two or three, or two instead of three, but yeah, that was madness. Seconds. Excellent push by the cup and cakes. Nothing for it. Very much so. Just by way of account, that was a minute two to the first point, a minute 48 to the second, 2.49 to the third, and 3.29 to the fourth. So 46 seconds between 1 and 2, 61 seconds between 2 and 3, and only 40 seconds between 3 and 4. And I think if we if we decide to keep records, that's, that'll seconds. stand for a while as the fastest uh, cap out of a single stage uh, PL map that we'll ever see. Yeah. That was just outstanding group coordination by Cupcakes. So now for T5, uh, having been pushed around like that, they've got to sit on and say, we've got to do the same thing if we're going to have three, a chance here, two, in this, at least in this first one. half. Absolutely, yeah. They want to get out there and push back. We've seen plenty of times that it's possible to have both teams very good at offense and not as good at defense, so there's nothing saying they can't do the same exact feat. Absolutely not. See defense here, Cup and Cakes being conservative with their Ubers, waiting to see. Here comes Pink Bandit and Devilish Potato. And they are pulling back with their Uber unused. And we see Bob, the Ninja Man, has his uh, essentially back in that far location we've seen several times before. There's He's Uber versus there. Uber. Not sure where he has it around. wrangled, however, for defense. He was running and getting supplies, it looks like. This is a quick push. Yeah, it looks like uh, it looks like the couple gigs are trying to defend back this elbow. Could well be if they set a, a entrench farther back. Cupcakes, uh, or sorry, T5 needs to jump down on that cart and keep on pushing. They can't afford to stop for anything. Pat Grazzoni taking out KK and Sparky with a nice little uh, Scottish resistance trap. I think that is. But Maple Man almost gets the cart there. Runs back over to it. Dancing around trying to avoid death. Let's just jump on that. Easier said than done, obviously, but somebody needs to jump on that cart. Take the stickies, let a second person finish it. There goes some of the SNRs. It's right on there. Maple back in action. Just jump on it, stand on it. He gets blown up. There's a spy stopping a sentry. That's an Defensive spy sapping the offensive century. Love to see them get this first point here. Remember, it's not just a matter of having to do it faster, but also if they run out of overall time, they do cap it, by the way. If they run out of overall time, the round will end regardless of where they are. That's right, they have only a minute 30 to make the rest of the play, which would be a small order, even if they keep three on it the whole way. Not sure possible if the they fast enough to support that. Yeah, possible they could get to the third point just barely. I'm not 100% on that, but uh, 
Cup and Cake's putting up a nice defense here. It looks like they're going to hold them to no more than two. Possibly one if they keep on fighting hard down here like they are now. I like to see, I like the swarming offense here from T5. They are doing a good job um, moving in here. They are just up against a wall in terms of time. Yeah, this kind of offense they have definitely has potential to get all the way through, and they're going to have a chance to prove that in the next round where they will be pushing first. So this is a good chance for them to demonstrate that they are bringing... Nice good use of crits. Right James Golden Quad take out at least four with the crit minigun. 23 seconds left. Sherlock uh, knocks out Pink tries Bandit. Sherlock sure, like backstabs her. Mission ends in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two. Mission coming to an end just because of that lightning pace yep. that was set by the cup and cakes. Go ahead and switch colors, switch colors. And I'm going to have the chance here to uh, sub. turn around and now it's their turn to push first. Yeah, I think we'll probably see some slight plan changes, not necessarily class changes on T5's part. Trying to find a way to slow down uh, Cup and Cake's offense. Well, they'll push first, so they'll they'll just try to do this again, I think. They had a nice offense. I, I think they got to do this. Uh, same thing on offense. It's defense where they'll change. I agree. Yeah, that, that offense was effective, and I think it will, it will do all right. Now, Cup and Cake's, on the other hand, you know, did more than well enough to win the round on defense. I'm not sure. I wonder if they're, they may rethink the strategy of uh, waiting all the way to the elbow here to defend and let them be so close to the cart by the time they really engage. Yeah, that was an interesting plan for them to pull that far back. In that case, they knew that they could do that because they knew they just had to buy a little bit of time. But here, where they don't know what the time is going to be, they can't afford to... Absolutely. ...to uh, give up that much ground without a, a fight. We are definitely seeing some quick caps of the first. Um, if my math is coming out correctly here, Cup and Cakes did a minute 2, T5 did a minute 51, Time did it in a minute 16 once and a minute the other time when they were not being contested. Uh, God did it in, let's see, a minute 14, and 32X did it in 211. So, we are seeing very, very fast moves on that first point. We're going to stick, since it worked last round, it looks like we're going to stick with uh, having the team start on the wrong color and assume that the start of the match flips them properly or improperly as we want them to. Got to play against the system, see what it does. <laughs> Alright folks, what we're counting on here is that the server is going to switch the teams after you both ready up. On the off chance it doesn't do that, I'll reload the map. Oh, and we are underway. Unexpe and it it. Unexpected launch, but it worked. <coughs> T5 and the cup and cakes, ready to go. Mission I guess, guess this will be the uh, default uh, method of operations from now on. Seems like it worked.
You see both Armin and Grizzoni killing themselves for the engineer there. Looks like Cup and Cake's going with that top of the hill gun again. I am fully charged. Doc, come on, man. I have to say, Thanks, the, the good thing about being on top of the hill is that it's really hard to hit with pipes. Seconds. Because a lot of them will roll down and a lot of them will roll past. Five, four, three, that is true. It also is two, a little more protective one. against flankings from the left side. Uh, if you're on defense, there are certainly pyros and such that like to go around that bottom cliff side. But here we see it. Uber, James Gold, and Quad pop directly outside. Oh, that was a lot of meta. Right there, the beginning of the map, Maple Man launched himself in and got a caber kill. That was quite a little flying leap he took. I didn't actually see the kill, I don't think. T-Fung pushing here, but under a lot of fire from above to their left on that ledge. We've seen heavies camping up there all day, as long as this first camp is under, uh, under risk. Absolutely, it's a good spot for a medic. Oh. They're completely protected Another from sniper fire. Wow, Bishop Eagle gets Man. taken out by the caver. Ow. That, that hurts. Really, as long as they land it, not much they're going to be able to do about it. Uh, any of the, the softer or lighter class is just going to be instantly fragged, and when you get a cable crit, nothing anybody can do about it. And he launched it again. He did. Ooh, demo jump not going to work that time, getting skywalked by the sentry gun. The sentry is out of ammunition, however, and you having to pause to fix it up. That's an Uber around the cliff side, using stickies to try and take out the gun. That's going to be hard, because those uh, Wrangler shields are powerful. He uses the entire load of stickies, he does get it. Yep. Only Greybeard alive for T5, though, after oh, that push. Oh, Man takes Sherlock down again. Sherlock had popped the conch shell on that one to roll in with the Uber and help him. Yeah, the uh, conch shell changed. Uh, possibly slightly more effective now. Probably won't see a whole lot of it in general. And what was the change they introduced on that? Do you Actually, I, honestly, I can't remember. They added uh, another effect to the uh, charge for it. Yeah, they did. Said all that. Yeah, we're several minutes in, and Kevin Case have held despite the uh, excellent cabering from Maple Man. The, the change in the counter introduced in the July 2 patch was that rage is now generated only from damage dealt, and buff players now receive a speed boost in addition to the previous health on hit effect. Ah, oh, thank you for that. Sounds about right. So, help you get, you get that, uh, help push that uh, uber heavy in a little faster if you follow up with it. Yeah, definitely the uh, getting uh, getting charged for dealing damage instead of taking damage does reward slightly better play. See, on the team, frequently there, Cup and Cakes, three different players touched the cart but ran away from it rather than stay there, despite the fact there's only one defender. They need to be on the cart and they need to push the cart. And I'd say the same for any team. Just gotta get on the cart and push. They're taking so long to capture this first point. I think they'd have the opportunity to get it, but it makes Cup and Cake's job much easier because they will just have to get the first point faster unless T5 can take this one and then push on and get a second one. Looks like they're gonna. There's the cap at 4:06. And now we'll see. 
we're seeing a couple kicks reset. And they do have most of their players up. Engineer, however, is down, so they need to slow him down long enough to give uh, Bob the Ninja time to get set up over, most likely over by the steps where we've seen pretty much every every century that's defending two. He does. Oh, amazing move by Maple Man. <laughs> wow. He comes in and eliminates the NG and the gun. Maple Man has seven points. I think they're all from Kaber uh, explosions. And, and he picked up three of them there, I believe. That is an unusual way to get a pick, but, uh, wow. There he is again, going to the backfield. Lands it, takes out the gun again, but Bob survived and manages to get the gun building again. Oof. And again, that said, the cart has basically gotten down the hill and been stuck for a little while there. I believe it doesn't move backward at this part point in this journey, so... Well, it's not on a uh, rolling slope on the heads up, but that doesn't mean it doesn't go bad. Let's see. Yeah, hard to say. This card is undefended. They really need to get onto it and push. There we go. Now the team's pushing here. Let's see if they can get it up the hill. Jump in doesn't work as well with these level 2 sentry up. Yeah, definitely a little harder to jump into that than into nothing. However, some backsplash shots being fired to do damage to the engineer force him off of his gun, but he is back in action there. A little deflect there to help protect the gun as well. Carpe jumping in there. Wearing his own old Mill Cup tag, it's an HK from Hex Kitchen and an axe from the Extinguishers. Those were teams Carpe played on or captained himself repeatedly in the past. 2011, we saw Hex Kitchen, saw the Extinguishers in uh, 2010. Or sorry, no, we saw Hell's Angels in 2010. The Extinguishers were in 2009. Hex Kitchen in 2008. He didn't have there we see T5 pushing nicely, and they are past the cart. The cart can be moved forward now. NG trying to clear off some... They're ignoring the cart and letting it go backwards, despite having a free front. They need to push that. Stay with the cart. Stay with the cart. Not sure why they aren't pushing. There is nobody defending. They have three players dancing around the cart, but none on it. This is one of those points you have to remember. Objective, objective, objective. There is nothing important, more important than the objective here, and they're ignoring it. Mission ends in 60 seconds. That's kind of an odd... I don't know I am confused by that. It's like they're playing a death match and they're forgetting the objective. They need to get that yeah, point. There's only a minute left. Yeah. All right, there we go. A Snidely noticed and is going for it, but now here comes the enemy running in. And they're off the curve. They've only got 38 seconds here. They need to get that point. <laughs> Drawing out the match is bad for them. 30 seconds. 30 seconds left, and they're not pushing the cart. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what this is about. I have absolutely no idea what we're saying. Hey, this this almost it seems like it has to be deliberate. There's the cart going backwards again. But I don't know why they would want to stretch out the match. It hurts them severely to do that. Right. And Three. Two. And they're not capturing. Nobody's capturing. What are they doing? Here comes an Uber defense. I'm wondering if uh, the cupping cakes were holding back on purpose to try to let T5 get more points so that they could in turn get more. Oh, and then, so, I see. T5 is not participating. They're not letting them do it, so they're not pushing the point to give them an opportunity to get the points. Right, Possible, now, uh, but that's an interesting spoiler role to choose to play. Uh, and, I, and I think they don't realize that Cup and Kings do not have an avenue to the finals uh, now yeah. that uh, from the result, based on the results in the first two matches. We're going to look at it. Yeah, they 32. Did, they did come in. And 
Yeah, 32 and uh, Cup and Cakes are going to be fighting for third next week. I'm going to have to do some work here trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah, I yeah, think that's got to be what it was. Is Cup and Cakes were trying to let him take the whole map and then just planning to beat him in a quicker time. Right. And, and, uh, and T5, T5 chose not to let that. Playing into it. Yeah. Honestly, so, it would be to T5's advantage to take any points they can get, but I don't, yeah, I don't uh, know what I'm, that decision was based on. No, I'm, I think uh, Cup and Cakes are in third or fourth, uh, the third or fourth place match basically no matter what at this point. Yeah, they will, they and 32X will be competing against each other next point, next, yeah, there you say KK saying no farming points, so that's exactly what they were thinking. There's the jump down. But it's hardly point farming when both teams get the same benefit from it. Yeah. Reagan takes down Maple Man before he can do that. We're going to be looking at an interesting situation here where if Cup and Cakes come and take this right here, like the, and if they do it faster than 406, um, they're going to be exactly tied with 32x. 5-3 uh, and three record with 33 points, and they'll be going into their head-to-head -head matchup. So, it'll be an exact tie for them. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Yeah, they can, they can only get the one point here. As long as they move the cart another about 10 feet in three minutes. <laughs> it's there they I go. Think they will do basically uncontested. We've got a 3.03 left, which is a 1 minute and 3 second cap. Alright, see y'all next week. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, um, let me write down my data here real quick and see what the scoreboard situation looks like.